ready for some Christmas dinner. That would be me. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> To our new friends, welcome to the woods. And a Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> Sorry, Benjamin. One, two. Jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. way. Oh, what fun is to ride Well, everyone got their Christmas dinner after all. Your father will be proud. Yeah, I suppose. What's wrong, Peter? I lost Dad's sledge. Oh, it's okay, Peter. What is it? It seems that in all the excitement, everyone got a present except you. This was your father's journal. Wow. He liked to collect keepsakes from all his adventures. Did he really do all this? Mm-hmm. There are some blank pages in the back. Room to add your own adventures. Do you know what your father always said was the greatest adventure he ever had? What? His family. <laughs> <laughs> find the largest fallen tree in the woods and a stick for peeling off bark. Come on, let's hop to it. Peter, run, save yourself. No, don't. Save us. I will, trust me. <gasps> Shh. Mrs. Rabbit. Ah. Come on. <laughs> OK, wait here. Peter, where are you going? Don't worry, it's all part of the plan. You gotta be strong, Peter, you gotta be rabbit. smart, you gotta be quick, you gotta have heart. Rabbits are brave, <laughs> brave, brave. Oh. Rabbits are brave, nothing's gonna stop you now. Rabbits are brave, brave, brave. Rabbits are brave, brave, brave. <laughs> Peter Rabbit. I thought you'd have given up by now. Soon you'll be joining your friends in my cage. What friends? Huh? <gasps> A good rabbit never gives up, Mr. Todd. That's right, Peter! <laughs> my brilliant plan ruined. This is all your <laughs> fault, Whiskers. My fault? <laughs> You've got some nerve. Ah! I'll say one thing for those rabbits. They know how to tie a knot. You realise this would be much easier if I just ate you? If that's supposed to be funny, I'm not laughing. Go on! We need to do some more training. <laughs> <laughs> Good running, Mum. We make quite a team. The best. He didn't make it. They're closed. <sighs> this is what happens when you forget that it's Mother's Day and leave your shopping to the last minute. <sighs> For the record, I definitely did not forget that today is Mother's Day. I just remembered too late. <laughs> That's all. Happy <laughs> Mother's Day! <laughs> oh, my. A brand new apron. I picked it out myself. Yes, but I chose the colour. And look, a homemade quilt. Oh, and turnip-scented candles. The candles were my idea, Mum. Yes, but I picked turnip. Oh, girls, you shouldn't have. <laughs> ah! oh, and look, even little Cottontail made you a present. Oh, <laughs> the only present any mother needs on Mother's Day is a hug from her children. But thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Looks like someone forgot. Who? Me? Uh, I didn't 
forget, did I, Benjamin? <laughs> no. Um, he just sort of remembered too late. He remembered that it would be better to give you your Mother's Day present later. Right, Peter? Uh-huh. Later. I just, I need to put the finishing touches on it, that's all. Finishing touches? On what exactly? Only on the best Mother's Day present ever. And so I guess I'd better go do that right now. Bye. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for... My dad's journal. I saw something once. Um, aha, found it. Good old dad. He put all his best ideas in here. Wow. Instructions on how to make mum's favourite treat in the whole world. Wild strawberry pie. Mm. Come on. <laughs> I have a great idea. Why don't the three of you go out for a nice Mother's Day walk through the countryside? Well, I suppose that does sound rather nice. Where should we go? Anywhere. Go and enjoy yourself. In fact, why don't you take the whole day? Peter, you wouldn't by any chance be trying to get rid of us, would you? Get rid of you? <laughs> get rid of you? Me? Ha! <laughs> Me! <laughs> you too, Cottontail. You'd love a walk, wouldn't you? Yes, Cottontail, a nice walk. Yay! Let's hop to it. We've got to make that pie before Mum gets back. Peter? How did you know it was me? <laughs> Mums know everything. Listen, today is Ginger and Pickles' annual giveaway. We need to find things we don't need that someone else might find useful. I haven't got anything I don't need. What about that old feather and stone and that jar of yours? What? But I love them. You haven't played with them in a while. Maybe someone else could use them. All right. I'll see if I can find them. <sighs> you this sad? This is the stuff Mum wants me to give away. Oh. My best skimming stone. Plunk, plunk, plunk. Yeah. Oh. The owl feather I got when I escaped from Old Brown. Woohoo! <laughs> and the jar I keep them in. I know I don't play with them much anymore, but they're still some of my favourite things. <laughs> Maybe I can find something else to give away. <laughs> Be something. <laughs> I think Mum's going to want to keep this cotton towel. Okay. Huh? Wait a minute. What's this? No one will miss this old junk. It's perfect. Hi. Hello, Peter. Here are some things for the giveaway. Have a good day. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Hmm? Oh. Oh. Mum, what are you looking for? Uh, Peter, you haven't seen my box of precious things, have you? Precious things? I don't think so. I had it right here, an old box. An ornament your father bought one Christmas. The first card he ever sent me. And his best walking stick. They were old, but they were very special to me. <gasps> oh no! Where did I put them? Peter, could you look upstairs? Peter? Peter? My, my, my box of things! They were very popular. In fact, they're all gone. But I need them back. Oh dear. Well, we have a list of who took what, if that helps. Thank you. Silly rabbit. First he gives us something, then he wants it back. Come now, Pickles, don't be a grumpy hound. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ouchie. 
What's the rush, Peter? I accidentally gave away my mum's most precious things. Now I'm going to get them back. It's for my mum. <gasps> A present for dear mummy? Well, why didn't you just say so? Of course we simply must swap. Here, come and get it. Well, all right. But you promise you won't try to grab me. Grab you? Why would I do that? Oh, wait. I remember. Because I'm a fox and that's what I do. <laughs> Get the flower! Come on, Benjamin! Throw it to breathe. Throw it to breathe. Hurry! Oh no! My bluebell! My, my own cake. cake! My rabbits! Split up! <laughs> Whoa. No, do foiled again! I can't believe I'm going home without a bluebell for my mum. I wish I knew what my dad's trick was. Look on the bright side. I saved some blueberries. You tried your best, Peter. You could always make her a painting. Painting? <gasps> what is it? I may not know how my dad found the first bluebell of spring, but I have a special trick of my own. Lily, have you got any blue paint? Come on! White for snowdrops, green for Benjamin's hat, brown, no, sorry, <laughs> no blue. Yum. <gasps> huh? Sorry, Benjamin, I'm going to need those blueberries. <sighs> I'm never going to have another snack again. Here goes. Ooh, wow. wow. I got it for you, Mum. The first bluebell of spring. Oh, Peter. It's beautiful. Mm, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Blueberry juice? Uh, well... I can explain. Peter, you clever rabbit. How did you know what your dad's special trick was? You mean he painted a potted snowdrop with blueberry juice too? Wow. Of course. It's far too early in the season for bluebells. Yum. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Rabbit, just like your father. <laughs> 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 oh.